Hello, I'm David from Winning Solutions. I hope you're having a great day and thank you for viewing our web page and templates. At Winning Solutions, we have a huge array of database templates to choose from for almost any business need you have. Buying the developer use versions of our templates will get you the entire source code and also allow you to include the template as, as part of a larger project. And the, all our databases can and are meant to be customized down to the finest detail to meet your company's specific needs. Shrink-wrapped software generally doesn't allow that. You have to use it as is with no customizations. With Winning Solutions, the licensing is very generous. The app can be used by as many people on as many computers as you want, and applications can be customized to your heart's content down to the finest detail by you or anyone else with a knowledge of Microsoft Access. We hope this video will be all the help you need. Are you trying to create an Access database but find that it's too much work or you could be doing something more productive with your time. WSI can do all the hard work for you. Just contact us via the information below this video. We will work with you to determine how much time and money will be needed to build your new database. If you'd prefer to have your new database built with .NET, Microsoft SQL Server so it can run on your Windows desktop or anywhere in a web browser, we could do that too. So let's take a look at the enhanced Microsoft Access calendar database template. So I'm, I want to emphasize, just like I do in all template videos, that this application is necessarily incomplete. It's a template. So what you're about to see may look very simplified, may look overly simple, and that's because it can be, and is in fact meant to be, enhanced, expanded, made as part of a larger application. So, you know, if you have knowledge of access and you buy the full version of this template, you have everything. You have the all the forms, design, the source code, everything, so that you or someone else can make all the changes you need. Or you could give us a call and we could give you a quote on how to do that as well. But uh, let's take a look at the calendar database. So, one restriction, of course, with the templates is that data that you enter will not be saved when the database is closed. So if this is otherwise fully functional, uh, we could do a search. I don't know if there are any, there, probably, there are probably sample items entered. Oh, I suppose not. Okay, so we'll do the search later. Maintenance is one of the first places we will go because anything that populates a drop-down box... Or, you know, for example, locations, if you have different office locations, different people who are going to be in this calendar, whether doctors, patients, or anything else, whatever this database is being used for, you can set up user logins and passwords if you want that type of setup. I don't think this template right now is set up to have user logins, but that's something that can easily be put in. When we go to the calendar view, this is, of course, the main view here. Oh, and you'll see this demo with a uh, chance to give us feedback. Please do, I mean, wh whether you decide to use this or not. Uh, you know, we always appreciate feedback, whether it's through these forms or through the video comments or anything like that. We always, uh, we, we always appreciate feedback, and it, it does drive the products we create and the videos that, that we make. So, um, so please do that. Um, we have several views. You can view the calendar by day, week, bi-weekly, month, and so on. We can import data from calendar, import from Outlook. We can export to a calendar. Maintain just gives the maintenance menu that I just saw. Search gives the search that I just saw. Setup, again, you can do things like first day of the week, uh, show time in 24 versus 12 hour mode, and so on. So let's close this for now. And, no, actually, let's, uh, let's actually enter some, uh, enter some event. So uh, I can go on today's date, and or maybe we'll go to tomorrow's date, and enter a uh, 
double click on any one of this. Again, I'm in the day view here. I'll select the person. And again, you notice these drop down boxes. These are people who we entered, or these are entries we made in the maintenance menu. So this some generic stuff here. Um, tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day. Oh, well, I'll just kind of put, we can just put anything in there. Uh, save and close. We can select uh, a color for this event. We can invite other people. Again, these, these are also uh, people who we've already entered in the database. In, in other menus, we can select a custom color. I guess green would be appropriate, wouldn't it? So it's going to appear as green in the calendar. So that's one way you can certainly make certain events stand out. Um, we can go to a few days later and create another event. Uh, maybe we'll just make this all. I don't know. We'll invite everyone here. And then we can save and close. We won't give this one a custom color, but you uh, it didn't enter that. Uh, it didn't enter that before because I didn't enter a person. Um, but we can make this an all-day thing, too. You know, I, I selected uh, all-day event, and so it just kind of appears in the top here. And if we go to the month view, again, you see it on that day. So now we can go to search, and we can just run a search. We can search on any or all of these criteria. If I just run a search, it's going to show me everything. I can show for every search for any everything in location two, and so on. Again, we can export this to Excel, to Outlook, um, print detail, print summary. So we can do a whole lot of a lot of things with this calendar. So, the calendar itself, you may think, okay, well, why would I have this whole thing just for a calendar? Well, again, I, I'll just you know, repeat what I said in, at the beginning. This is meant to be expanded upon, and or imported or added on to an existing database that you need calendar functionality for. So you might have a, uh, a scheduling app or, you know, you might be a doctor's office. You might have, you know, an, an application for patients and you want to use this calendar as part of that application to keep track of patient appointments. That's just one of many uses. And of course, it's meant to be open-ended. It's meant to be expanded upon. And that is the preview of our enhanced Microsoft Access Calendar database. Thank you for watching. We hope this video was all the help you needed for your Access database. If you are struggling to create an Access database that does what you need it to do and just want someone to make that happen for you, that is the business we are in. Our contact information is below the video. You can reach out to us and we will work with you to determine how long it will take and how much it will cost to get your database up and going. If the time and cost are acceptable to you, WSI will get to work and make your database vision a reality. Perhaps Microsoft.net or MS SQL Server would be the better choices for your new database, so it can run on your Windows desktop or anywhere in a web browser. WSI will help you make this determination if you like. Again, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and have a great day.